Regional Center for Biotechnology Bill 2016. Dr. Harshavardhan to move the bill. Sir, uh, please. With your kind bill, सहमति बनी हुई है मुझे लगता है कि ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर इस पे जो है वो इसको एक्सप्लेन करते हैं और उसके बाद अगर कोई एक नंबर बोलना चाहते हैं बोलें और हाफ एन आवर में इसको हम ओके 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 आई थिंक देयर इस कंसर्न्स इफ एग्री वी कैन पास इट विदाउट डिस्कशन इवन एनी गाउ यू मो यू मो मो कर सर विद to provide for the establishment of an institution of national importance to be known as the Regional Center for Biotechnology and to provide for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto as passed by the Lok Sabha be taken into consideration. Sir, I uh, wish to uh, briefly uh, in a symbolic manner uh, apprise yeah, the house could, about could, what exactly could. is this bill. Sir, this bill is to take the permission of the parliament to establish a regional center of biotechnology, an institution to promote education, research and training in biotechnology under UNESCO in the national capital region and then to declare it as, a, as an institution of national importance. Sir, so this center shall take up research and innovation and also impart education and training in the new areas of biotechnology at the interface of multiple disciplines of science and also impart degrees in biotechnology. Sir, so I wish to explain why there is an importance of this bill for the country. As all of us know that biotechnology is a new and growing field having immense potentialities for the societal benefits and economic transformation. It is a powerful tool which enables technology that can revolutionize agriculture healthcare, industrial processing, and also environmental sustainability. Sir, I want to remind this house of what uh, Atalji said when he was the prime minister. At that time, IT was having a boom, and he said, IT is India today, and biotechnology will be Bharat tomorrow. Sir, the Indian biotechnology uh, sector is one of the fastest growing knowledge-based sectors today, and it grew three-fold times in the last five years, with numerous comparative advantages in terms of R&D facilities, knowledge skills, and cost effectiveness. The biotechnology has immense potential to emerge as a global key player. Sir, the uh, Department of Biotechnology was established roughly 30 years back, and uh, during these 30 years, the Government of India has established uh, centers of excellence all over the country. And as a consequence, sir, we have become globally a leading manufacturer of vaccines at affordable cost. Indian companies have been able to master the requirements of good manufacturing practices for macromolecules. India today makes a recombinant DNA hepatitis B vaccine at a price which is 40 times lower with such high quality that we have a major share of this in the global market now. Thanks to the huge human resource with excellent training in synthetic chemistry, India has made major inroads in generic drug production becoming a leader also in this sector right now. Sir, because of the developments in biotechnology, which I mentioned just now, there is a bigger demand for trained professionals now in the country. And there is an enhanced need for highly specialized cadre of scientists also, who are capable of translating the research in the labs 
to clinical practice with detailed knowledge of both medicine as well as the practice of scientific investigations inside the laboratories. Similarly, there is also a requirement for human resource for agricultural biotechnology. Also, yeah, sir, there is a requirement of domain-specific training programs for enhancing skills of scientists working in biotechnology as well. More specifically, sir, there is a need for scientists for specialized areas of biotechnology like nanotechnology, medical implants and devices, new vaccine strategies, stem cell biology. Sir, biotechnology is a highly dynamic and nascent field and works at the interface of multiple disciplines. Progress of research is such that newer technologies, they keep emerging with each passing day. Earlier stem cells and now CRISPR technology are excellent examples. Therefore, we need to have new curricula to be designed to ensure that the interdisciplinary research base is which is continuously evolving through flexible structures, it gets strengthened. So this regional center for biotechnology is going to disseminate and advance knowledge in the country. It is going to ensure capacity building. It will further facilitate transfer of knowledge and technology and to create a hub of technology expertise in the country. And this new institution shall also complement the ongoing efforts and help employ the qualified human resource in relevant sectors. Sir, in 2013, industry, biotechnology industry registered a growth of 15.08%. And for the preceding five years, we were growing at an average rate of 18%. Its growth potential is comparable to that of the IT sector in India in the early 90s. Like the software industry, biotech can play a crucial role in driving India's economic growth in the future. Indian economy is set to grow at US $4 trillion by 2025. In addition to growing Indian industry, there are also several bio clusters spread across the country in Maharashtra, Karnataka, UP, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, NCR, and Gujarat. Bangalore could now be considered as the country's biggest hub with 137 biotechnology companies, which makes it 40% of the total 340 units in India. Biotechnology industry includes biopharma manufacturing, bioservices, bioagriculture, bioindustrial, and several subsectors, with biopharma being the largest revenue generator for the country. Sir, our department has formulated major interior interministerial missions to promote these developments. Number one is the farmer-centric issues for agriculture in the age of climate change. Another one focuses on health, which will be accelerating discovery research for biopharma products development. Another focus area is energy. And of course, the biotech startups and the entrepreneurships for creating an innovation ecosystems. So all these areas which I have mentioned in brief just now, they all need a center of this magnitude and excellence and also the national importance to address our requirements for quality human resources on a national scale. Moreover, I wish to inform this house that this uh, uh, idea of a center like this of national importance, it was mooted by Dr. Murli Manor Joshi long back in 2003 at the UNESCO meeting when he was the Union Science and Technology Minister of the country. And this idea was uh, then carried forward by the subsequent government. It went through various technological processes. And in fact, it is almost 13 years uh, since the time this idea was mooted. And now, fortunately, I got it passed in the Lok Sabha. I don't think there is any 
controversy or any uh, anything. Uh, uh, but uh, I would certainly like this house to be contributing their suggestions if they want, or to be involved with the cent uh, center because this uh, field of biotechnology has a lot to do with the progress of our country in the field of science, sir. And I uh, wish that uh, the bill, uh, with discussion or without discussion, as the House wants, it should be, sir, uh, now which is long awaited. Uh, I've been waiting since the last session for this bill to be passed so that we can uh, proceed with our developments in the Regional Biotechnological Center, uh, Biotechnology Center at a faster pace, sir. I, I want the bill to be passed, sir, as early as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much.